What's up, world? OG Ron C. Chop Stars Finance up in here. All right, DJ Michael 5000 Watts. Switch your house up in here. And guess what? We got a chop You heard me? <laughs> well, I, I start off. What made me pursue music is um, I started off at uh, 14 years old. And um, I seen a DJ actually uh, mixing and scratching on TV, right? And uh, it's something about that made me say, I want to do that. I don't know. I was just so mind blown by that, you know. And at that point, but I didn't have access to equipment. So, you know, back then we had tape players and stuff like that. So I actually started making my own mixtapes with the uh, tape players and stuff. And the crazy thing about it, I always wanted to do music, right? I always had things going in my mind. I wanted to be in my band, in the band, right? Or either take music in school. My parents weren't having that shit. So, you know, at that point, uh, I think I'm going too far with this whole thing, but you know, <laughs> basically, you know, why I got the story rolling. So at that point, man, I just started DJing and, and making mixtapes in high school and just kept with it. That's my beginning. I basically, you know, I think we all kind of, Everybody kind of almost the background of music kind of have, you know, you get some influence from somewhere. And I got my, just my, want to be, you know, seeing rap had just first really kind of started. And just from my family being just into music, playing music and dancing and stuff all the way. So, you know, just as a kid, you know, getting in front of the family, getting up there, you know, doing whatever was always music and dancing was always in the family. So by the time hip hop came around, when I was probably, I guess, about, 10, 11, 12, you know, just starting to do what you see, you know, we were seeing on TV, you know, just beatboxing and, and rapping. That's what where it started, my love for the music. And then once I, you know, we decided to have a rap group and I decided to, um, you know, we went to make a demo and we had no music and I decided, you know, to be the man behind the scenes. So that's what, what brought the love of just being the man behind the scenes and want to create the music. And, you know, creating the music was either producing, because I started producing first before I started DJing. So creating and producing was, you know, was the thing. That's how, that's how I started. Okay. So I know you all, pretty much uh, after y'all got y'all start, y'all kind of created your own label, which is Swisher House. What made you all want to start out as independent versus label? Well, we started off as independent because we didn't have the opportunity exactly. to uh, go major at that point. But had they cut us the bag right then, we were glad they would have been more than happy to be on Sony Records. And I'm very glad that they didn't cut us a the check then because we probably wouldn't be here right now. We would probably would have end up failing and uh, be working on a regular job right now, be totally mad at the music industry because we do nothing about it. That's right, and doing what they wanted us to do and not knowing, not doing what we really wanted to do. And, you know, we was kind of really, you know, we, we was forced to do things, we, you know, the way we do it. And then just as a whole in the South, you know what I'm saying? At that time, you know, you was, you was, you was really forced anyway if you was in the music game anyway. So at that time in the South, you was forced to do it anyway. In Texas, I say, shall I say, in H Town. Okay, so I know Swisher House has a big legacy headed, well, currently and always have since it's pretty much start. So, what? How do you all continue to progress Swisher House? Like, what's next for Swisher House, person? You, you know, one thing that that me and Ron has had in our careers that that keeps us relevant, right? Mm -hmm. Is the fact that we are DJs, right? <laughs> our our career. And our job is to stay current and stay on top of everything, right? So with our careers, you always see that we always evolving and bringing the new stuff to the table. That's what we are here for. We always here to bring the new, uh, uh, the new thing to the forefront, right? right? Because if you notice the whole thing about Swisher House, there were waves of people, right? Mm -hmm. There was there was the first wave, then there was the second wave, and then there was the third wave, you know? Right. And we just keep this same thing going, man. We always bringing the new and the popular and, 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 and exposing the brand new talent. That's how we stay relevant at this point. Yeah, as far as the future go, you know, me, you know, we, me and, me and Watts like brothers, so, you know, we do a lot of business ventures together. And just to be honest, the Swisher House was just one of our first ventures. You know, like now we have a new venture and a new, a new wave. You know that that we're moving forward with that consists of both of our brands. 
which is Swisher House and the Chop Stars, Chop Not Slot brand. So, you know, which we're moving forward, we just created Chop Cloud, which is what we tend to call our new Swisher House baby. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you saw how big that got, then, you know, expect to expect no less than with Chop Cloud. All right, so I know the chopped and screwed sound is a huge part of your brand. So, what are y'all thoughts on the impact of screwed and chopped music on hip hop culture? I'm let you start that one. Shit, man, y'all niggas cut us a check, man. <laughs> 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 Shit, goddamn. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's. I, I look at it as a blessing and a curse. You know, it's like a double, double edged sword because um, on one part, you know, it's good, and then on one part, it's not good because. On one part, it's good because it's keeping our culture, you know, going around the world. On the other part, it's not good it's because we're not getting the best out of it. And it's not because we don't want the best out of it and we're not striving to get the best out of it. It's because of the, how the industry goes and how and what's going on just in the industry for us. You know, um, our city and our state is not considered in the entertainment hub yet. So long as we're not in that entertainment hub yet, we're not going to get the best out of the music, out of the industry, period. Out of the industry. Notice I had to stop. I had to catch myself and I say music. I meant the industry, period. It don't matter if you're a model. It doesn't matter if you're a singer, dancer, tap dancer, producer, engineer. We still don't have the tools and the, we still don't have, we got the tools. We still don't have just the connections on the out to get it out. So... You know, it's 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 still gonna be what it is. Uh, same question. What do you, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, well, as far as the, it's always a blessing, man, to see that something that that originated out here in Houston, Texas, man, to be expanded uh, uh, nationally and, and and globally. You know, and one thing about uh, you know, the whole thing of uh, uh, screwed and chop music. You know, it was started by Screw. And um, one thing that people don't realize, you know, is that it started with Screw, but it's a genre now. It's just like rock. You know what I mean? So, and and, and, and to see something that was originated right here in the land that we grew up in, you know, and we was actually blessed to be a part of this culture around here, man. It, it feels really good, you know? And I'm, I agree with Ron. I just feel like the industry... We need to bring the industry to us and build our own industry around it and stop giving all of our shit away, yeah. you know, to the industry. And then a lot of artists that's actually coming and, you know, getting from our culture, you know, I ain't gonna call it stealing, they coming, you know, leaning on our culture. Um, you know, they just, I think they need to do a better job at, you know, just, you know, you, you, you on the outside reaching into the pot, you know what I'm saying, come into the pot and put out. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, come do something with us. Come do something with our artists. I mean, it's just, it's not enough of that going on. It's not enough of the world coming to the city to embrace it like that on that level, on a business level. Everybody comes to, you know, to, because, you know, they enjoy our city, enjoy our atmosphere, our weather, how we do it, our culture, you know, and they just take that back with them. And they don't necessarily come and, you know, take us back with them they come and take something back oh i seen watson run wearing a black and white shirt oh i'm gonna go to and wear a black and white shirt mm -hmm. instead of saying hey well i'm gonna go bring run and watch out there and let them people out there see that they wear they own stuff you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but instead so you know we just need more uh, you know more of just everything because we and, and we just we, we we got the we down here in the south we got the shit really virtually i don't give a fuck yeah you know what i'm saying attitude really because you know we, we get to the bag, whether y'all gonna give it to us or not. So what do you think is necessary to grow it in the industry? Like grow the Houston sound in the industry? Like I said, you know, we gotta have more industry and media participation and not when something big is going on, not when we having a Super Bowl or we having an all-star game or we having some type of big, big, big world event. You know, we, we need more of Back in the day, you know, all the record labels used to have an office in Texas, in Dallas. And it still wasn't good then. So I can't say that I need the record labels to come back into the city. 
No, I don't need the record labels to come back and see it. I need more. We need more, like I said, more media, more publicity about, you know, the artists going on here in the city. And then, you know, I work closely with the mayor. We also getting help from the mayor to, to help curb this situation about our city being an entertainment hub because there's so many restrictions. That's why we can't shoot movies because there's so many city ordinances and, and it's this and you know that's the reason why we can't do certain things. We can't shoot certain types of high expensive videos because of city ordinance and stuff. See it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff too without that that goes on with you know without the music that, that has to, to, to help the whole situation. It ain't the, just the music because the music we make. You know what I'm saying? We got artists coming out here. You know, we got Beyonce. We got Travis Scott. We got, you know, the Slim Thugs, the Kikis, the ESG. We got Pauls. You know what I'm saying? We have, you know, artists that can that have made impacts around the world. Cheddar to Connect. You know, we, we seem to pull out, you know, a platinum record every other year or from around here. Is that not true? I mean, I'm just, okay. you know, I'm saying somebody does something. So, you know, it's we just need more. We got to have more industry help and more media help and PR help you know what I'm saying but hey you know if y'all don't help us y'all see what we're gonna do <laughs> we gonna make a way so. so what do you think of what do you all think of the evolving Houston sound because like as opposed to when you go the DJ screw and then now you had your of course your slim thug your Paul Wall era which is still going and then of course now you have Travis Scott Riff Raff like you said Cheddar Connect like so many different artists. Like, what do y'all think of the evolving of the Houston sound? You know what? It's always good, man. I like to see that. I love to hear when people evolve creatively. You know what I mean? I don't like the the follow the leader evolution. You know, there are people that evolve to sound like other people, and there are other people that they have their own original sound. You know what I mean? And so, I, life is all about evolution because every generation goes through a, a whole different stage of life. You know what I mean? And their music is influenced on what they're going through at that point. Because at the point, so when Screw the Chop came out around there, everybody was influenced by Serp. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, people aren't influenced by Serp as much as that generation passed. So it's always good, man, to see that evolution, man, because that means that you have new money coming to the city. Yeah. And we have new things to embrace. And you keep the excitement going on about what's new. I love the you know just the you know music and I think we all kind of tend to forget that music is kind of catered around younger people. So once you get out of that younger ram, you kind of lose insight of what music is. You just start to do you know music just just become what your favorite, and you're not necessarily looking for what's new when you become a certain age. You're not looking for what's the new. You're looking for what you already like. Once you become over 35, you're not looking for the new. You're looking for what you already like and what might sound like something that you already was that you already like. Most of my friends that's up 35 and up, they don't like no new stuff. They don't. I mean, I'm just being honest. They don't. But throwing a Tupac record, throwing a Biggie record, they'll think she Biggie was just they just she just came out yesterday. So you know, I love to see you know how everything is evolving and even with the sound of H-Town and how we're doing, you know, the new sound with the new youngsters, you know, I, I love it. You know, it's, it has to evolve because like what I said, it, it's, it's about the time of what, you know, what they're going through right now. They wasn't going through what we was going through back then, similar things, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's different times. So, you know, evolution has always been about time, the timing. Know what it is right there so you know I, I I love the way what's going on with you know our new music our you know they upholding the culture still and you know it's 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 young it's just it's just real music man energy music energetic music so you know energetic goes with young it goes with youth with this word I made up called euthanism Euthanism. <laughs> you know that's I mean? a good word. Yeah, euthanism, man, because that's just that. And then you just think about it. Euthanism is in everything. Everything. Because once you've had something, you want the new version of it. It doesn't matter what it is. Telephone, shirt, you're going to want, you want the, the, the new part of it. You don't want the old part once it gets. So I love, you know, today's time and how 
Houston has evolved and everything. Speaking of evolution, y'all have been in the game for a long time. Forever, God, I don't know. You <laughs> too long. It's <laughs> only a couple of years, that's all. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying, it can't be too long with this 25 phase. You hear me, Brian? It's all okay. That's it for a few minutes. We've been in the game, you know? That's why, like, I don't even know why I wrote this question about asking y'all about longevity. Like, how do y'all maintain I mean, but that is a good. That's, that is a good question to ask because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't understand what longevity is around there. You know, longevity is always about looking past the day into tomorrow, you know, because one thing about us, we always embraced what is new, you know, at the end of the day, you know, just like with me, man, like somebody asked me like, man, do you got any CDs on you? No, I don't. I do. I know people that I know I, I can send you how to get them, but you know, it's things before, you know, like majority of people are streaming their music from their phone. So right now, if you're a fan of Michael Watson, OG Ron C, you can go to your phone and get the Chop Not Slop app, and he go get the Switch House app. And that way you can get all of our new stuff that we're doing today, you know? And that's all about evolution. Got to keep up with the time, man. You got to have it right there. You know, people want it right now. You know, people want it right now. It's back 20 years ago, we had ADD. Now we got, what? HD, yes. <laughs> in high definition. So everybody's attention span right now is just gone. And that's the reason why people want everything right now. Because five minutes from now, I ain't gonna, I won't be thinking about something else I want. Mm -hmm. Two minutes from now. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> people respond to what's right there in their face. Because right. if you go to get the app, you can get the music right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to wait. You don't have to go to the store. You don't have to download it. You can stream it right now. Right there. <laughs> How do y'all think y'all careers behind the scene have helped propel um, y'all careers in keeping the longevity, like you said? Like you all both said, starting out as DJs and getting behind the scenes of art. How has that helped y'all? I mean, I mean, behind the scenes is everything. Everything is planning, you know? Like everything that you see right now, it's a plan right. that, that, that was already um, put into place to get to this level right now. So right now, at this point, you see that we have apps, but we have plans to do things beyond this right now, you know? Just like the whole thing, like like Chop Cloud. It's gonna be one of the biggest sources of slow down music in the world right now. You know what I mean? We telling you this right now. So if you wanna be a part of it, you know, hit us at chopcloud.com, you know? And you can be a part of this whole wave, and it's a whole new way that you as an artist, you can also benefit from your music. You know, and you can get paid for it, you know, and get it done by the professionals that do it the right way. And with the and Chop Cloud is the first of its kind. It's a remix distribution company. So what other remix people or whatever is putting out there, people doing remixes and just putting them out there. When you get an EDM remix or you get a such such remix from Calvin Harris or somebody, somebody you can't make no money with them people. It's just out there. It's just to be, hey, and keep the re remix my song. So what we created, we always creating something, you know, of its first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like now, here we are again. Chop Cloud is the first of its kind. It's a remix distribution company. So, and they just, we just started with Slow Down Records first. So who never knows what, what the next remix might be. We might go into some mashup remix and be able to sell them or something, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, so, you know, it's always about, you know, evolving and breaking ground too with us. And at the same time, keeping this slow down thing going. Let's talk a little bit about Chop Cloud because I keep y'all keep mentioning it. Chop Cloud, so like what art, what can artists do on there? Or like how does that work, Chop Cloud? Well, basically, like I said, it's a remix, you know, development company. So okay. the remixes that we provide are slowed down remixes, mm -hmm. which is, you know, we call them Swish House Remix and Chop Not Slot Remixes, right? right? So basically what we're doing is, you know, everybody can't, when you want somebody to remix your record, most of the time the producer's charging a lot. You know, everybody can't afford to really get their records chopped, you know, by us. You know, they might came forward to get it remixed by us. So what we did, what we decided was to 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 cut out all of that and just do it for free and provide two services for the artists in one 
one lick, which is we're opening you up to a whole nother different platform of artists and fans, and we're providing you another stream of income. So, I mean, and that's like, where are they doing that at? And it's like, and you, you're only paying the processing fee. So it's just like, you know, that's just, that's what, you know, the child class, that's why we, you know, it's, it's, it's huge right now. We got, you know, the catalog is getting, you know, it's, it's growing. And it's just like I said, those two things are vital to an artist, income and fans. That's how they're going to be able to survive. We're providing that to you fans and income what are you in it for if you're not in it for fans or income we got both of the grounds covered right, right. you're doing it for one reason mm -hmm. you're doing it for one of those reasons right mm -hmm. so we got it covered so either you want new fans or you want more fans or if you want new money <laughs> or more money <laughs> so you know and then you know that's just that's what the whole thing you know Anything you ever want to add about you, it? You nailed it, bro. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> yeah, so. Because my thing is, if you're not generating, uh, if you're not doing it for the money, you definitely, uh, you you don't have a career. You actually uh, have a hobby. <laughs> you're uh, doing a hobby. You're not having a career. So, definitely. Okay, so what do you all want y'all legacies to be? What can we, we look back? What's the legacy? I want to go with that one first. Yeah, I, you know what, man? Just like, you know, I, I legacies, man. We want to be known as the pioneers of southern music, man. The the, the guys that that kept the whole southern uh, uh, music uh, 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 market going. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, I don't feel like there's people that are for us here in the south, and that's the main thing that we are about. You know, you don't have to be from the south to be a part of the south. You know, if you want to be, a, if you're a, a, a person that, that loves the Southern culture, you want to be a part of it, you want to be a musician, we are that door to Southern music and Southern hip hop around here. And we are open to share it with you and let you be a part of our culture and, you know, and spread our culture from the South beyond the South. Yeah, and that's, and that, and with him saying beyond the South, that's what just going to keep the legacy going and, you know, about what I would, you know, think that we want our legacies. Like we, we, you know, we, 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 we said we, we did groundbreaking things. You know, if we want to say what, what we want to be to be left as, you know, as we just, you know, want people to know that we, you know, we, we've always been into the music, always into breaking the artists, taking it further, upholding our culture, our city. You know, that's, that's what, you know, I think, you know, our, our legacy is going to be, you know, be, be remembered as and you know to you know to, to, like man if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have heard of this artist if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have heard of this this product or something or you know we just want our legacy to know that people you know to people we want the people to know that just man it's just you know we we stood for our culture our city and the artists you know, so I mean you know so what about like um Telling that story, are y'all gonna like talk book ah, releases? Yeah, Everybody wants to see. Telling the story, telling the story, tell the story yeah, now. Yeah, you write documentaries. Uh, this whole somebody, you document you like somebody yeah. slipped you a little information or something. Nah, ain't nothing coming. <laughs> I mean, of course, coming. man. Of course, <laughs> man. There are things now, that's coming. You know? Yeah, no, we 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 got you know we we thinking you know, but we about doing things right way. You mm -hmm. know, we could have been did documentaries and. Yeah. Oh, we shit. We got a little pony with the camera. We got them all day. You know, we could have been shot some diamonds. <laughs> so, so we just more of of just you know doing things the right way. We wanted okay. to be told the right way. And as far as I'm concerned, we're still we're still adding to it. So it'll be an incomplete book or movie right now. Right. Honestly, because we steady breaking new grounds and trying to do new things, and you know, so we really just say kind of just focused on that yet but you know because it's a lot of things that we still trying to add to this book that's true but then look at the artists that didn't get to tell their story well you know good lord hey that's <laughs> gonna be left on the good lord man that's you true. know if you know if you know so somebody gonna be there to tell the story the right way trust me when it get told it's gonna be told the right way trust me it's gonna get told the right way if you know if we here to get the flowers or not it's going to be told the right way. I mean, because at the end of the day, 
I, I store is this right here, man. Hard work pays off. You know, you know, you could do it too. You know, it, it don't matter if you do music or not, man. You stick to it, man, and and, and do what you believe in. You can do it. You know, and that's gonna be the at the end of the day, neither one of us was born with a a, a, a spoon in our mouth, and, and nobody came to us, gave us a hand out, and say, "Hey, we give you this opportunity. Everything that we built, we earned it from the ground up." You know, so that's our message that we want to do. You know got to work for it work hard for it don't let nobody discourage you or anything like that man just go do what you need to do and be successful whatever you have planned in for your life because they sure told us that shit man you, man we wasn't on this y'all what's that shit y'all doing that slow down man what y'all take bro hey man nah. they show was like they, we was counted out we ain't supposed to be right here 20 years later we ain't supposed to be right here just from Nobody even understanding Southern slang. Nobody even understanding what we was shit. They all thought we was country. You know what I'm saying? Houston rap really ain't supposed to be here. They thought we were riding horses. You know what I'm saying? Then we talk about just rap, period. Rap ain't supposed to be here, period. You know, they they marched on Capitol Hill to ban rap. So ain't, ain't no other genre of music ever been tried to been banned. Rock and roll ain't trying to be banned. Hip hop, I mean R and B, ain't trying to be banned. Mm -hmm. So hip hop, we didn't fall. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They tried to ban rap. So, you know. Fast forward to today, hip hop is it's been documented is the highest grossing um, genre. It uh, debunked um, rock and roll that was official on the Forbes list. They said it, <laughs> so it's been debunked. So. Um, what do y'all think about the current state of hip hop culture and just music in general and how it's grown just the overall, not just Southern, I'm talking about they got it in Asia, New Zealand, it's just everywhere. So what y'all think yeah, about the current state? I mean, it, it is what it is today, you know? I mean, that's what we grew up off of and, and, and everybody has, we influence our kids and, they, and they're gonna influence their kids and stuff like that. And, and people don't realize hip hop is way farther than the music. Hip hop is a way of life, and hip hop is about evolution. It's not going anywhere. It's going to just evolve into something bigger and greater and fresher, and you know, and more exciting. I, I love to see it. I love to see all the little corny rap commercials, everything that you know. what I'm saying, you white folks doing. I see it. <laughs> why, why do all the hip hop commercials be corny? They be corny. They don't that like that Kit Kat commercial with chance. Oh, I'm saying they all be corny. Then a motherfucker don't like. Hey, I'm here with Michael Watts. Hey, I'm here with Run C, and this is Tied. <laughs> like okay, but you know it's it's you know it's it's great to see, you know even you know just like I said now you know where rap is gonna look you got rap on Target come I mean, you got rap on everything man you know what I'm saying you look look and you still got the youngsters they still you know little yachty with Target commercials mm -hmm. Sprite commercials Drake with Sprite commercials it's just mm -hmm. like you know so to see hip hop and to be first generation hip hop for us to, like for when I see it. I'll be like, it make me smile when I see the little corny stuff. Because I'll be like, man, like, they rap was, I remember when rap was just in this, it was just right here. It was the neighborhood. It wasn't across the street yet at the white man house yet. You know what I'm saying? Or the Chinese man house yet. Or even the Mexican man house yet. Mm -hmm. I remember when it wasn't at the Mexican man house yet. You know what I'm saying? You know the essays, we shit, essays is us. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, you know, it's, I love to see where hip-hop that brought the world you know closer i think that hip-hop has brought the world closer than any other genre of music if you ask me mm -hmm. because everybody every walk of life likes hip-hop every it ethnicity every and i just can't say that about every like rock and roll you know what i'm saying i could take you to the whole land of them because they ain't never heard a rock and roll song. So, you know, just for to know that it didn't touched every part of the world and every species and human piece, man, I love it, man. It's, and then, just like I said, being first generation rap and just seeing where rap them came, I love it. I hope we, you know, go to the moon. Yes, as pioneers, um, like you all said, in terms of the Southern sound, but I still feel like, I guess from my personal view, like how do people financially get ahead? Do you encourage younger artists to be independent? Because, I mean, 
a lot of them still aren't are going broke. I mean, now I just like the fact that now there are so many more independent um, artists right now, you know, and a lot of uh, there's a lot of artists that 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 understand the whole fact of owning their masters and owning have ownership in 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 their and what they're doing right now. And people are being more than rappers; they're becoming businessmen, you know. And and if you're an artist and then you're really just trying to uh, uh, do it, no matter where you're from, and learn the business, right here. This is a business. This is no different from you opening a, a store. You know what I mean? You have to make quality product. You know, you have to invest in your career. You know what I mean? And you have to really do numbers, man. You have to invest in, in things that, that, that has the potential of making a profit, right? Here. That's right. When you decide to sell somebody something, you are, have become a business. If you want somebody to buy something from you, it is a business now. If you don't want that, then just rap and give your music away. Yeah, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm don't ask nobody to buy it. And I'm gonna give y'all this tip around here. You know, a lot of people are trying to be successful as an artist. You gotta realize this: that that you are a product. You making yourself out a product that people want to invest in, right? You gotta make yourself. It's no different than when you see something on that shelf. You are another item on the shelf. You guys gotta, gotta think of yourself and your crib. Like, what is what 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 can I do to make people buy my product? You are the product. What you gotta do to make people invest in your brand, your product, you know? And sometimes you might need to go get two dollars from somebody to make somebody else see that you work twenty dollars. So that's you know, cause somebody's gonna have to spend the two dollars to make you be able to be worth twenty dollars. Cause you just gonna, cause if anybody can just show me something that I can wake up in the morning and it's worth something, and it ain't have to put nothing into it, like it just, I just made it and it's worth, it's worth it now. She, I quit DJ in thirty years. I'm done. I don't gonna do nothing but easy shit. I'm just gonna wake up and shit. Oh, it's done. It's paid. So ain't nothing now. It ain't coming like that. So you got to put something into your investment your career your product your music whatever it is it don't have nothing to do with music it's if you want somebody to buy something you got to put something into it to make them want to buy it or to make them want to support it you still have to put something into it and that's you know that's it, that's what it is you got to so what current projects are y'all working on? I know it's a bunch, but just name them out. Just tell me what's going on with the whole Switch House right now in just terms of you both as artists and also on your entertainment. I know y'all both are DJ still. so. I mean, you know, I, I still DJ. You know, I work on 97 Out of Box. I'm on every Sunday night uh, from 9 o'clock to midnight. Also, uh, I stream my shows live from the Switch House app. So, you know, if you're not fortunate to catch it, you can catch it on my app from now on. And um, the main thing is, man, just open the doors of opportunity for people, you know. And that's what we're here for, man. You know, a lot of people don't do not do that nowadays, but we're here to offer that door of help for people that, that really have a, a, a talent and really want to run a company as a business. We keep doing, we just, we, we, we still here keeping doing what we're doing. We've been opening doors and helping artists and providing opportunity. That's what our claim to fame is we, from day one. And, and we just gonna, you know, we're gonna keep doing that because, you know, that's what people expect not to be done. So we just gonna keep on doing what we're doing and that's why we are who we are. And you suckers can't get past it. <laughs> I talk a little shit every once in a while. Yeah, baby, we shut. <laughs> we talk a lot of shit all the time. Yeah, see, I'm the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the shit talker. Y'all come see me. Don't come see my big brother. She the little brother. <laughs> Last question. So what keeps y'all going? Like, what's the motivation? Like, it's been so long, and y'all are, like, creators. So how does the creative juice keep going? I mean, oh, oh, did you see the big ass forehead? Shit. This ain't no, ain't no creativity coming out. It won't stop no time soon. Not this one. Man, evolution, man. You know, evolution oh, just keeps you excited, yeah. you know. A, a, a new way to 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 make a dollar, a, 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 a new sound that you can create, a new opportunity that you can bring, you know, that's what keeps you going. Yeah, just just you know, just just everything that's in general going on, man. Just you know, from the new artists to 
you know, just new things that coming out, new technologies, just, you know, just everything, you know, shit, it might be a new Pioneer DJ something come out, shit, that might, shit, I might say I don't want DJ no more, that come out now, because I love turntables, I'm going to be like, oh, shit, well, I got to come back, because I want to want that new machine, so, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a lot of things that, you know, we could sit there and say that just keeps us going, you know, and just, just, man, you know, we, we getting older, but we still keeping up, man, it's, it's kind of cool. All right. Thank y'all so much for y'all time. Oh, anything that y'all wanted to... Like... Yeah, maybe I want to tell my baby mama. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anything else y'all want to plug? I know we covered... Um, Chop Cloud. We, we covered um, new projects. What about new artists or anything that y'all... That y'all want to say? I don't want to... Like, in terms of, like, new artists or anything that y'all working with or just, like... I mean, you know, it's so crazy, man. Just, like, we're not really just limited... Mm-hmm. To, uh, to we're not limited to artists, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just right. like we help out so many people, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. And our door opportunity is just not for a certain person or a certain group or anything around that man. We open to do business with business people, you know what I mean. So if you're professional, you you, you want to do some business around here. That's what we're here for, man. To help you grow your business as a professional. That's what we're here for. But I will tell you, you know, um, one thing. I, I think that we both kind of. We are kind of both excited about moving uh, forward with um, a few a movement that we're we're behind now. It's called um, the One Solid uh, One Solid Empire Movement, which is called the North Afghanistan Movement, and basically is really um, kind of like what we did, you know, with the Swiss Isles. Is you know we found a lot of artists that was doing their thing and you know they have a good movement and we're just you know being the OGs that that we didn't have at the moment and just making sure that we give you know the new youngsters a you know our support and try to you know help them succeed and get you know get further and get on out the city so that's you know North Afghanistan and you know One Solid Empire is what you know we're, we're, we're supporting right now just as a movement um, you know, it's a lot of talent in Houston, though. It's a lot of talent in Houston, and we we mess with all the talent. Like we can, I can sit here and we can both call you, who we probably feel is gonna have some longevity in the game. You know, but like I said, it's a lot of talent. I don't want to even get it to start naming names because somebody gonna be sitting there looking at them like, oh, I thought he fucked yeah, with me. I'm like, yo, is that yeah, I didn't fuck with you. So we just need another couple hours for that. Yeah, <laughs> so you know, just as a general and whole, man, you know, just you know, we definitely gonna you know keep on upholding our city and bringing you know what's fresh and new to come out of our city. We are definitely gonna let the world you know know that and stay on top of what's fresh and new coming out of our city. And man, you know, we just like I said, like why well, said. This is for every artist, man. What we do, we just, you know, we trying to, we just, we do it for all the independent artists, man, mm-hmm. and just artists in general, so. Definitely. Well, thank y'all for your time. Chopcloud.com, oh. chopcloud.com. We're going to chop your record for free, G. All you got to do is get it put out, man. It's going down. Chopcloud.com. Wait, so y'all, do y'all chop it? Yeah, of course. Yes. we chop it. You think we're going to You can get your record chopped by. Yeah. For the real. Legend. By yeah. the lights and run. See, for real. Don't get much better than that. Yeah, yeah. 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 We ain't finna just throw you down the street. Yeah. No, we're going to get stuff. you right. we getting it right. You're going to get your stuff done the right way, not mm-hmm. the tight way. Yeah, you okay. the right way, and you're going to make some money. New fans and new money in the hand. Oh, you can't beat that plan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make make sure you follow me on the Twitter or the Instagram at DJ Michael Watts. I got Snapchat, but I don't really fuck with it. <laughs> but hey, y'all can follow me. I ain't lying. Somebody run my shit. <laughs> somebody run my shit. But OG Ron C, you wanna know what's going on with me? Uh, on the business tip, <laughs> all the socials. I'm on them all. Every last one of them. OG Ron C. And ninety three seven the beat. <laughs> I gave y'all weak ass shout out. Leave that on there too. <laughs> All right, thank y'all.